we had one international school they um, they get decide to to say creole is forbidden in our in our school in my humble opinion uh, doesn't matter if you are public or private but you have to respect the constitution of the country hello everyone uh, today we're gonna speak about three cape Verdean creole varieties you are watching feed culture with chris magui What up everyone, Kari is Maggie here and welcome back to my channel where I encourage you to submerge yourself in culture and live meaningful lives. And welcome to the final episode for season 5 of Fit Culture. Today I am here with Nagosi, if y'all can remember from last year when I had him help me introduce Cape Verde Island and also Cape Verde um, Creole to you. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be picking up where we left off. So I just want to say thank you again, Ngozi, for being here with me today again. Thank you so much, Maggie, for this amazing opportunity to get to talk about uh, the Cape Verdean Creole. It's a, it's a massive pleasure yet to be with you here. Thank you so much for this opportunity. No problem. So for this video, we're going to be talking about some of the variations of Cape Verd Island Creole. Um, but before we get into that, last time when we spoke, we ended off the video talking about some of the work that you and a couple other folks are doing in Cape Verd. You're actually in Cape Verd right now because you all are doing some work to get the language recognized as an official language. So that's some development there. Congratulations on that. So <laughs> tell me a bit more. You said it's a petition. Am I right? Uh, yes. Actually, right now, um, we create a, a petition, um, an artist petition, because our, our focus is to, to get the... Um, the involvement of the artist class. Uh, yeah. However, uh, we still have got the support of all Cape Verdeans um, inside of the country and even abroad. Because uh, uh, we want to, for our language, for this discussion, be discussed on the parliament. Because this petition, yeah, the main goal is to get to, get to, get to give uh, this petition to get to, to the parliament for the parliament go to discuss if they will if they will become if the creole our language will will become official or not um the yeah the minimal uh si signatures we we need to have got is 500 for they make this for they they make this kind of a schedule um and so far um because uh, we are going, we're gonna make almost one month. We we launch this um, this petition um, online. We already have got uh, three hundred, and uh, physically we have less. <laughs> this is a very curious. This is a very curious thing because um, I think abroad people they they feel the necessity to get, get to preserve more than people are inside. Uh, I would like to make just uh, I would like to make a reference to a small uh, let's say um, uh, a very polemic news because uh, here uh, literally was almost one week we had one international school they um, they get decide to 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 say Creole is forbidden in our in our school so <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, an international school uh, in Cape Verde, they, they, they said, no, uh, right now the, our students, uh, they are forbidden to speak uh, our own language in our own country. So uh, yeah. it is, let's say, it's kind of a curious thing because um, when we, we could say when we, we launch our, our campaign, we still are, we're still having some reactions yeah. and um, and uh, the most, let's say, the most um, awkward thing is is having some Cape Verde nationals. They think is normal because it's it's private school, so the private school can establish any rule they want as they want. But mm -hmm. in my humble opinion, uh, doesn't matter if you are public or private. 
but you have to respect the constitution of the country. And in the Article 9, the constitution says very clear, the official language is the Portuguese, but every citizen, they have got the right to use uh, any language. So this kind of, let's say, this kind of rule who forbids a language, it's totally illegal. But once again, because of our, let's say, our the colonial past, mm -hmm. and especially our kind of, let's say, some people, they, they, they have got this kind of uh, chains in the head. Mm. This, is, is an, it, this is a very deep topic because um, I always, I recommend to everyone we should get to read and know more about Franz Fanon, and especially his book, Black Skins in White Masks, because uh, mm -hmm. he explains this thing very well. And um, especially in a, in a small chapter, you say language has a, has a colonial toll. Mm -hmm. um, and I will summarize very, very quickly. So basically in this chapter, uh, Franz Fanon says, uh, they try always yet to make sure you will not use your language because they will say to you and they will put in your mind, you don't speak a language, you have a dialect. So for you speak a language, for you be accepted, you have yet, yet to speak European language. Mm -hmm. uh, Franz Fanon, he was from Martinique. So oh, okay. he's, a, he's a, right now a uh, yeah, department of, of France, but in us, in our case, it happens yet yeah, the same thing here mm -hmm. in Cape Verde. Because wow. before I was in independence, the, our language was forbidden. And mm -hmm. it's still in our days, some people, because- Are they, still trying to do it, yeah. Yeah. So gotcha. this is, this kind of, let's say, uh, cause, it's much more uh, deeply, more than just a, a question of uh, the language become official because we need to get to get to change our our minds we need to accept ourselves awesome okay mm -hmm. sounds good so what i'm going to do i'm going to get that petition link from from you so y'all can check it out in the description box and also the first comment on this video is going to have the link for the petition for anyone who wants to help with this cause so just to recap you know cape verde island there um, Creole is a Portuguese-based Creole, so this is the very first Portuguese-based language that we're featuring on this channel. So with that in mind, we're going to be moving on to talking about some of the variations of um, the Cape Verde Creole. Um, just very quickly, if you can outline or like just tell us the names for the nine, and then we can focus on three of them, um, mm -hmm. talking about like how to say certain things in them. So we're going to break it down. So starting with, can you tell us the names for the nine variations that can be found? Okay. So uh, in our country, we have got 10 islands, but uh, nine uh, nine islands are, how do you say, one island is not, how do you say. So basically, okay. uh, so if we consider that nine islands, so we have got nine di different Creole varieties. So yeah, the name uh, is yeah, the names of yeah, the islands, the, these varieties is Santo Antão Island, uh, São Vicente, São Nicolau, uh, Sal, Boa Vista, Maio, Santiago, Fogo, e Brava. So this is, is the, the nine uh, uh, Cape Verdean Creole varieties. And mm. uh, yeah, so okay. each island, yeah, each island they have a deep, different variety. Oh, so, okay. Is it difficult to understand each other? Like, if you were to go from one island to the next, is it difficult? No, it's not. It's not. It's not a. Uh, we could say um, we could understand each other. Mm -hmm. uh, just let's say if uh, one or two islands they have a different way in terms of yeah, the grammar. I could say another different, another uh, important uh, difference is the accent. Okay. The ac yeah, the accent is a, a, an important topic here. Um, and another important topic 
is the the pronouns. Some, in oh, some okay. islands, they they use uh, one type of the pronouns, and in another island, they use another type of the pronouns. And oh, okay. the other difference, another difference, is the this negation. This is is the the, the main uh, differences is based on negation, mm -hmm. the the pronouns, and the accent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move on to talking about three out of the nine that you mentioned, the variation. So what three today will be will we be talking about? Okay, uh, so today we're going to speak about um, San Vicente Island, Santiago Island, and Santon Town Island. Okay, so then... Going with the first Creole variation. Okay, what is the name of it again? San Juan Ta. San Juan Ta. Okay. So I want to learn how to say some personal pronouns for that island. So starting with, how would I say I? In San Juan Ta, you, you can say as well, mm. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would you say you? I could say um, it's, it's two ways. One, okay. uh, 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 you could say bo, bo, or 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 uh, busish. busish, bo or busish. Busish is uh, is more because um, our especially Santon town they have got they like to get to say things in like plural. They like oh, to okay. say they don't like to get to say you you specifically. I specifically, they, okay. they, they, they they like to say like you, you guys. like a group of people like you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For example, busish or zot. Oh, you guys say zot as well. Zot, zot. Yeah. Zot, as in z o t. Z o t uh, o with the the. With the. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. What about we? How would you say we? Uh, nosh. Nosh? Okay. Nosh. How would you say she and he? Uh, yeah. In our language, uh, normally, uh, we don't use a lot the, 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 the she. We just say he. We just oh. say uh, yes, yes. Uh, our language... I could say it's very masculine. <laughs> mm. Let me let me be very simple. Uh, so he is always he. So we can say he, but normally we don't use say for say she. If you understand me, what I'm trying to get to. So say. as in, do you say he as in English he, or is there a Creole for he? No, That's what a, it's a Creole. El. What is it? El. In. In. L, yeah. Okay. L, 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 L. But oh, okay. once again, we have a strong influence in terms of the yeah, the plural. Mm -hmm. We we like to say aish, or aish, or ish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. which one am I forgetting? So we did I, you, he. And we did we do they? What is they for this variation? Ish. Oh, ish. Okay. Ish. Yeah. All right. So then, for the second Creole variation, which island is this one? San Vicente. San okay. Vicente. Uh, the only difference from Santon Town is here between Bzot and Yebusij. That's it. Bzot okay. is from more. Use it. Is more common. In San Vicente, and a uh, yeah, is more common in in San Juan Island. Okay, so the one we used yeah. before doesn't use zot as much as the one we're talking about now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then, that's the only difference you say. Everything else is the same. Yeah. So you said for the second one, it is the same yeah. as the first. So mm -hmm. for the last one. What is this difference between this one and the others that we're gonna that we talked yeah, about? Before? Um, yeah, now it's from my island. Okay. Yeah, the south, uh, Santiago. 
Okay, so Santiago. Santiago, we don't say Bzot and we don't say Busish. Mm. We just, yeah, we just say Años o Ais. And that's for you, plural, like y'all? Yeah, yeah, plural, yeah. Años okay. o Ais. But M mm is, yeah, the same. The same. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and so it's yeah. just the U plural that's different. And for, for example, if we want to say we, we mm -hmm. say nu. nu. Oh, nu. nu. Yeah. Okay, interesting. For example, yeah, nu. Yeah, we, we use nu. Okay, so overall, like, there is, like, one set, like, similarity, but there are just some differences with some of the words. Okay. Like, All right, so that's interesting to see some of the differences. I am noticing that there are some similarities between some of the personal pronoun that is used for like French based Creole, for example, like with the new and the zut. So that's interesting to see. Um, <laughs> now I'm curious to know for salutations, like how would I say things like good morning, good night, and maybe even introducing myself saying my name is Maggie. So let's start with good morning. Uh, yeah. Uh... Uh, yeah, good morning is is uh, it's all uh, varieties is bon dia. It's all yeah the same. Bon dia, yeah. Bon dia. Bon dia, yeah. Bon dia. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. how do you say good night? Uh, Boa noite. Is, is... Bon night. 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 Night. Oh, night. Bon night. Mm -hmm. Bon night. Okay. Um, and how would I say to someone, my name is Maggie? Okay. So, yeah, here things start yeah, to be a bit different in terms oh. of our varieties. <laughs> so, I will focus on, on yeah, the tree, okay? Okay. Um, in my island, uh, you say, uh, Mchoma, Maggie. Mchoma, Maggie. Maggie. Or, um, uh, uh, you could say, uh, my name, 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 but uh, I think <laughs> because yeah. Uh, yeah yeah you have yeah. to say yeah you have to open yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah okay. yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. but uh, in some percent um, you you can say nye nom 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 you no. say nye nom nye nom yeah it's more you close to your mouth oh. nye nom Nye nom, nye, nom. nye nom e Maggie. Nye nom e Maggie, okay. Yeah. Another option in uh, San Vicente. Mi nchma. Mi nchma. Mi nchma. Oh, mi nchma. Maggie. Maggie. Oh, okay. Mi nchma Maggie. Or nye nom e Maggie. Mia nom e magi. Oh, so this one has three types that you can see three ways you can four. say. Yeah. Uh, oh, four. Like, okay. Yeah, because it's it's two ways yeah to say for uh, for these two varieties. Mm -hmm. And what's the the last one? Yeah, the third one is uh, Saint Anton. Um, is very similar to yeah to Saint Vincent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nom. Uh, in 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 Saint Anton they at uh, this last part nom they they will put more longer nye nom nye nom my nom ejf e maggie okay yeah nye nom ejf yeah in certain town you you just need to get yeah, to go a bit longer with uh yeah. oh, okay mm -hmm. interesting yeah. okay so this is like just the one way that they would say for that one yeah Oh, that okay. one, yeah, that one is 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 just uh, they use this more this this way. You know, Egypt. Yeah. Okay, got you. 
All right, and but, then if, oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, I would just to get to say uh, a quick difference, if, if it's not too much. Okay. Yeah, so in all words, in, term, in terms of uh, the end, let's say the end of yeah, the words, actividad in San Vicente, actividad in Saint Anton. Oh, is that for activity? Yeah. Okay, Activ so actividad yeah. or actividad? Actividad, Saint Anton. Actividad, oh. San Vicente. So hmm. in terms of this, yeah, this determination ADE in mm -hmm. some Vicente is all ADE, but in Saint Anton is E and D. That's it. A TV mm. dead. Dead. A TV dead. Yeah. Okay. In some Vicente, a TV dead. Okay. In my island, is we just say a TV dead D. D. Actividad D? D, yeah. Actividad oh. D. In San Vicente, actividad, actividad. Saint Anton, actividad. Okay, interesting. Oh. Yeah. In the pronunciation, you can see very, very clear who is from the island. For example, when I when I hear, even if I don't know get the grammar, but the the the, the pronunciation can tell me, oh, Where this person from? is from Saint Anton or is is from San Vicente, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. So, as you all can see, the Cape Verde Island curl is a very unique one. You know, differences depending on the different islands, which is why it's so important for them to be doing this work to preserve it. Um, as a reminder from the last video, I had mentioned that um, Ngozi is a poet, so the book that he has, it is available for purchase if anyone is interested. The link will be in the description box as well for that if anyone is interested in purchasing. I use my my poetry yet to preserve yet to preserve all varieties. So I put in one poem all va va varieties. At least I try yet to do that to put in my poetry all varieties because it is a question of representation. I try to yet to give a space to all varieties. Se Cabo Verde é de areia basada na Germãe, é tenja brava que gente descacedente. Não te gostei de ser de monte Manel Antônio e de Jalba, cira de ter fogo. De ser de bobista é uma irmandade exemplar. Monte cara, brinda a nós, Macis Luar Divino. Homem, sinto Antônio Macis Montanha, de ter companheiro na Cabo Verde. Santiago de Afresco, para não dar pico para ler Santana. Não por isso que crioulo vira de um gotor. Crioulo, mas se variante, em moda, um cachupa sabe sabinho, completo e bem rico. That's it. So yeah. thank you again for, you know, doing this video, for educating us. And again, everyone, the information is going to be in the description box for anyone who wants to check out part one of this so you get a feel of what we spoke about before. Then that video is there for you to watch as well. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Maggie. Obrigado.